My name is Mutando Lucas. I'm born and bred from Tanka Village, Eastern Cape, in East London. I run a media-based company called Matchbox Creation. Um, we believe in storytelling and publishing, telling authentic Southern African stories to the wider world. We believe in empowering, educating and entertaining people through their stories and in turn getting experience from their stories. Uh, for me, it comes from a place of change and innovation. I believe the 9 to 5 system is slowly dying out. And I believe the freedom of being able to express yourself lies in your coming and goings. If you, time and energy is all we have in this world. And a place like the Film Hub allows you to have full control of your content, full control of what you do, and it's flexible enough for you to not only do one, to, to focus outside the one system of getting an, uh, um, a one paycheck. Mm -hmm. It allows you to do multiple streams, but yet working in one space. You are your own boss, so it means you are accountable and responsible for what you do. And being an entrepreneur is all about change. And the place allows you to change on a daily basis according to the conditions of the time. I think, for, I think first of all is the why. The why always has never an answer. It's always leading to another why. So it's always, uh, there's daily problems that are happening. So we're always trying to find solutions for those problems. And I believe learning new skills, uh, learning uh, new material, learning new ways to find and combat the struggle that we're facing as a generation is the reason that keeps me going and having a reason to wake up in the morning and having a place to go to and having things and content to create is what keeps me going. The ability to know that I've still got breath in me, I still have life in me to be the change maker that I need in my community and in my country, that's what motivates me to get up every day, to know that I'm different and I can contribute to the wider audience of my youth and my generation. I feel like we come from a history of 400 years where the soul of the black man has been broken so much that he doesn't know the power of his own mother tongue. So that there's not enough reading material that teaches the boy child or the girl child to learn from early on life, that teaches them to identify themselves as human beings within this world, that teaches them that their voice matters. So our education is not doing enough to bridge the mother tongue. We still believe that English is the inferior, uh, is the superior language, and it's also the dominant language in this country. Our laws are written in English. Um, our legislation is, is, is in English. Our educational system, our judicial law is in. So English is the dominant thing, and so th that's where I believe our education is failing us. But I also believe that we are now in a space where. As the black child, we can read and write and tell our own narrative to the bigger and wider world. So I believe we're in a space where we need to educate the education system that time is moving on. We are in the fourth revolution right now and the black child can read and write. We just have to create material for them to rise up to the occasion. I believe yes and no. Yes, in the sense that um, those who benefited to, uh, from colonization apartheid still hold the keys. They still are the people that control the industry that we are in. They still dominate. Those people that were commissioned back then, they're still getting commissioned right now because of the track record that they have. So it's all about who you know and where you come from. But then what happens is that it's also a shift that even though economically we might be disadvantaged, advantage-wise, we still stay with the local people. So we own the content. We can identify with the people on the ground. 
we find the problems with the ground. So we've got the content to give to those who've got the money. So all that is needed is an, indus is an industry for exchange of ideas, for the money to be commissioned to us, because we are the content holders. So that's where we are seated as a country. We are, we are in a country that is always facing a new door because we don't know how to bridge 400 years. And it's hard to catch up because we are always playing catch up. So as a black entrepreneur, I am in that space. But I realized that the dream is given to me. It wasn't given to anyone in government. It wasn't given anyone uh, to fund me. But I, the dream is given to me, you see. And that tells me that uh, dreams can be achieved if we've got daily goals, weekly goals, hourly goals. But goals on the way to achievement can only be achieved with consistency and discipline. And that's why I believe as young entrepreneurs, it is our task to take on that role and to take on that consistency come in into spaces like the hub and create spaces. Our work might not be needed in South Africa or even in Africa, but there's a wider world beyond our country, beyond our politics, economics, and social. There are people who are consumers outside where we come from. And those are the people who barely need our content because we've survived oppression. We've survived or barely nothing. And here to year, here we are as entrepreneurs to say, this is who I am, this is what I stand for, and this is what I can achieve. Okay, for me as an entrepreneur, the heart has provided me a place where a healthy environment, where I can get up in the morning and know that I have no excuse, where the resources are available, where there's a building, where there's uh, machines to help me move forward, to the fourth revolution where there's computers with these souls and individuals and creators that i can come with and work with when it comes to solving problems within the community we are living in and to create content that we can give back to the communities that we're coming from but i've also been in the same space been able to know to see how my content from a book can be turned into a theater performance and how it can be turned into a, a film uh, production or how it can be turned into a documentary. So I'm learning new things every day. I'm learning new innovative ideas to, to tell the story, the African stories that I want to tell to a wider medium, to a wider audience. So the hub for me has been a safe haven. It's been a place for me to have no excuse to why I'm not creating. I bring the value of being a content creator, being a publisher, being a storyteller and basically I will bring uh, motivation, I'm planning to do master classes in motivation, creative writing, um, uh, acting skills, choreography uh, of whatever is shot, directing of whatever is shot. So I'm planning to work with individuals from a creative point of view but also from a directing. And a choreography point of view. I would basically tell him, forward, your opinion matters, your perspective matters, your perspective might be different from others, but having the ability to stand up for yourself, having the ability to know who you are and where you come from. Having the ability to learn that everybody that you meet is a traveler on this road and every person is a library and you should be able to stand and sit with them and to be able to read to their books, to listen to their stories, to be able to tell their stories, but in the same breath, find the strength to tell your stories. Have the patience to know that whatever you want to achieve might not happen within the time period that you set it. But one day that door will open or you might have to sometimes create your own door and create your own keys all you have to do is have an education to know that you have the ability to have the mindset to be anything that you want to be if you want to be an entrepreneur find the right skills and find the right education and find the right mentors to guide you in life and find people that you can worship that you can look up to, people who are your heroes, people who are your mentors. 
find your voice at the end because your voice can give birth to other people's voices. Always know that one day you will become a man. A man is not born, a man is made. A man takes on the world through the way he's touched, through the way that he's consoled, through the way that people laugh and talk to him, through the way people smile at him. Look at the people of those faces of those people that are raising you. They might not have the value of money, but they have the value of Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. You are because of those people around you. Don't burn bridges. Help build a bridge from a person who's educated to another person who's uneducated. From the poor to the rich, to the white to the black. Be the voice. Be the re reader. Be the writer. Be the storyteller. Always believe in yourself, would.